An incredible show of support for a Massachusetts veteran battling a serious disease. The Plymouth firefighter is being treated for ALS and multiple communities are stepping up to help him and his family. Anna Myler is live in Boston with more on this, Anna. Kate Liam, Dale Melanson has truly dedicated his life to serving and helping others. And now in his time of need, community members and firefighters from all across the state are coming together to give back to him. The fire service is a true brother and sisterhood. And being when we know someone's down, and especially circumstances like this, uh, we just want to be there for them in any way we can. Dale Melanson wasn't ready to leave the Plymouth Fire Department when a devastating diagnosis of ALS forced him to retire earlier this year. But part of him did stay, his helmet, and now it's traveling from department to department across Massachusetts. This week, Braintree handed it to Quincy, where it rode in the fire truck, even responding to calls. It's been to 27 departments so far, each one signing the helmet and making a donation toward Dale's medical bills. It's it's an emotional show of support, a way to raise awareness of ALS, a neurological disease that takes a person's strength and ability to move and speak. It's a cruel fate for anyone, but especially for someone who has spent their life serving others as a firefighter, a Pan Mass Challenge volunteer, and in the Air Force and the Air National Guard. He's the type of guy that he, he never, never did anything wrong. He was always all about just seeing people happy and doing everything he could to, to serve his community and serve his, his family and his friends and it's just it's sad to see something so devastating happen to such a good person. Um, I think it's really important to be able to pay that back to him um, so it makes me happy to see that people are coming together and supporting Dale and Colleen. And the public is invited to join Dale and his wife tonight at a fundraiser. The money will go towards his medical care, his expensive medications, and making his home handicap accessible. We have those details on our website, cbsboston.com. Live in Boston, Anna Myler, WBZ This Morning.